In the previous video, we learned eight different cases. And one of the cases that I taught you, the eighth case, the vocative case, I told you to not really worry about. However, you know, I, I, I will, we will be talking about that in this video a little bit more than we did in the previous video. However, I need to review the cases with you. So the case, the first case that we had was the nominative case. And if you need more help with, you know, each individual, uh, you know, what it means, and then you can go back and watch the previous video uh, within the Punjabi 2 uh, playlist. First was nominative, then we learned objective, the objective case, then we learned about the instrumental case, then we learned about the dative case. After that, we learned about the ablative ablative case, then we learned about the possessive case, then we learned about the locative case, and finally we learned about the vocative case. So uh, we should have, uh, you know, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, so these were the eight different cases uh, of, of, of different, uh, you know, uh, you know, classes of grammar that we really need to worry about. So what I thought, uh, you know, would be fun for this video was that I would take uh, one, one masculine, one masculine, masculine, and one feminine word, feminine word. And what I would do is I would first, and, and, and before I tell you what I would do, and I would split these into singular and plural, both uh, both of them what i thought would be fun uh, to to do would be to choose one word from masculine and one word that's feminine and then to do singular plural versions of all eight cases here so what what i would be doing i would be basically transforming uh, whatever word we dis you know decide uh, from from each section here so you all you will understand um, very very soon what i'm trying to say here so the word that I have chosen for masculine is is banda, so it's a you know that means man, baba with a tippy and a dada and a kana. And for a feminine, I have chosen I have chosen swani, which which means lady. So sasa ankar, we have ayada, we have a kana, we have a nana, and we have a bihari. So what I'm gonna do? So, so what, 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 what this video is all about is to show you how each of these cases can really influence the structure, the grammatical composition of each of these terms. And we're going to do uh, singular and plural versions of each of these. So this is a masculine word and this is a feminine word. If you need help with the masculine and feminine grammar, go back and there's a video on that. If you need help with the singular and plural uh, for, for any of these, and then there's a video on this. I believe the second video, then please go back and check this out okay so so let's get started with the banda if i want to say if so so first let me just make this a little bit smaller so we have more room here so we have more room something like this and i'll put it right over here because that's what we're trying to do so the first word that i as i mentioned was was banda banda so what I can do now is, so that just means man. So this would mean man. What I can do for the nominative, uh, you know, case, banda is fine. Re recall that nominative just means, uh, you know, the subject. If you need more help, this, this, you can e either pause the video or you can just go back to the previous one to learn it. However, if you are reviewing, then you can just pause the video and write this material down. So in the nominative case, we talked about how this is a, the you know the subject and banda would be a fine subject you know you can just talk about a banda now let's talk about the ob you know the objective case which which you know we would that, you know the, the 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 objective case refers to the the you know the words that the action is being acted upon so if you know if i am eating a burger i would be the subject and burger would be the object because i am eating the burger Okay, so so if I wanted to convert this into an objective case, then I would write down bande, so baba, tipi, dada, lama, nu. 
So when we when we do this material right over here, the you know the transformation of you know banda to bande, well this is what we call in you know within this structure we we say nouns with case endings. So these are the cases, and clearly this has been affected by the case because now this bande nu would mean to the man. To the man, which is completely different than banda by itself, and we have, you know, we 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 have entered the objective case now. Now, if I want to make banda into the instrumental case, then I would write bande, bande, nar. Recall, if I'm writing a letter, and if I say I'm writing a letter with the pencil, with the pencil, that's that's instrumental because that's the instrument that we're using. I believe the the example that I gave was playing jazz, uh, you know, and and then look, you can even see here, instrumental is with what? So so you know, if you're writing a, a or, or 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 if you're playing music, you're playing it with, you know, your your piano, and when you say with my piano, that would be instrumental case. So here, bande nal, where where the banda is becoming the instrument, and nal is a preposition that we. See See right over here, not. So one thing that you should already be, uh, you know, be, be 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 quite familiar with is that this case ending material, the bande will always remain the same. However, now we'll just be adding and alternating the prepositions that that I taught you right over here. So we're gonna pluck off some of the you know pre, you know some of the prepositions from right over here, and we'll see different versions of it, and you'll see why I taught you variations of these. So bande nal would be with, with the man. With the man. Now, if I want to say, or or if I want to enter the dative uh, case, which which would be for, it's you know I did this, uh, or maybe you say I I I painted. That's fine, but if you add I painted this for the king, then when you say for the king, that's the dative case. So so that would be bande, bande lei. Where does this lei come come from? So it, again, this would mean for the man. So if you want to say I did this for the king, then you would say raja lei. Raja is you know, a subject, when we change it, when we want to talk about the dative case right over here, when we want to say for the king, then we would change that raja, the, the, so if we have raja, we, we would change the ending here to raja, raja, lei, and that's where, or that's why we're really learning all of this, to, 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 to really, um, you know, nail down the different case structures. Normally, if you are a Punjabi born individual, then you just learn these naturally. You don't really need to study these so, so, so formally. However, if you're not, then you do need to understand these because if you mess these up, your whole sentence will have no meaning. So, bande lei is for the man. And where does lei come from? Lei comes from right over here. You see it right over here in the dative case. Again, for whom? The next case that we had was uh, the ablative case, which basically answered from who. So, 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 uh, bande to, bande, bande to, from the man. So, okay, so maybe I should do this. So, a sentence with this would be, uh, you know, the man entered the house. Banda kare vadeya. So, so, banda would be the subject. To the man, bande nu. So, so you know, give this to the man. Maybe this, or when I said give this, this could be you know a cup of tea. So if you say cha de de bande nu to the man, then if you want to say with the man, uh, who were you with? With the ban, uh, you know, with with the man. So then you would say bande nal. Uh, why are you doing this uh, for the man? Then you would say bande lei. Uh, who did you get this from? From the man. From the man would be bande ton. Okay, let's keep going. Um, uh, you know, after after this. So we have done one, two, three, four, five. So we're 
we're, we're right over here. So we did the ablative case as well. Now we, we are talking about the possessive case. Recall what the possessive case was. Possessive comes from possession. And recall possessor. Remember that? So, so, so that would be something that we use here. So if you want to say of the man or, you know, uh, yeah, so, so something that the man owns. So man. So, you know, what I mean is man. Man, or yeah, so so of the men, then you would say bandeda. So we have a baba. So there we go, bandeda. Where does where does this da come from? Right over here. So of the men, of the men. Whose car is this? A bandeda, or car is a female. Where the, uh, let's let's use Ottoman. Let me finish this. So a good example of this would be if I had a uh, computer. Yeah, a computer. Whose computer is this? This computer is, you know, the man's computer. A computer bandeda. That's how you would say that in Punjabi. Okay, so that's the possessive case. Then we have the locative case, which is bandevich, which recall recall right over here came from. Uh, where, where is it? So, okay, so if you want to say, you know, it's inside the man, then you is, then you would say Bandevich. So if you want to say, where is the ego? Well, you say it's Bandevich. Vich. And I just realized something. I forgot a, a dick somewhere here. Uh, right over there. There we go. So that's corrected now. Bandevich. So this would mean in the man in the man you can kind of see this that where all of these are basically prepositions from english something that would you know and and, and it's it, it, there is a parallel here the man the man the man the man bande 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 two with four from uh, of in nunar leiton davich so so you know there is a parallel however as you can see man is flipped so here man in english man comes at the end punjabi comes at the front that's why we're doing this to 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 understand this material then to to also pay our respect to the vocative case this this would be when you're calling somebody oh man or uh, hey there uh, you know listen to me then then you you would say oi bandeya i'm not going to write that down cuz you don't need to know that uh, however you know still that's that's where the vocative case would would come in so this was all for the singular so let me or let me try to box this rather than select this this all of this material was for let me let me do this so all of this talked about the singular singular masculine masculine word you know fitting in into all of these different cases and you know i've given different examples verbally i have i didn't write them down however you can you 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 should be able to do that now let's do so we have done one part so we are 25% of the way there now if i want to do the same word banda and if i want to do the, uh, the you know the plural of of this then first of all let let's go to a you know you know a different slide here because you know let's let's also conserve this so here we go. So now let's try to nail down our plural masculine version where we fit in into all of these sections. So so what's the plural of banda? That would be bande. So let me write write that down. That would be bande, which which just means the men. That's plural men. Now again, that's no, no, that's uh, you know our nominative case, so we're done with that. Now let's let's try to uh, you know th th transform this so that it can fit into all of these different uh, sections. I'm just gonna put a star on this because we're not really learning this. Uh, we're mainly focusing on these these uh, can different cases. So if I want to say, you know, uh, you know, the, 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 and if you know the, the, to the men, if you if if you are acting upon the men, uh, as we saw right over here, uh, you know, you're acting to the men. So here you want to act to the men. 
then we would alternate bande as we did right over here. In instead of making it bande again, we we make it bande If you if you need more help with this, then there's a video on the plural uh, uh, Punjabi terms bande And after this, we would have nu. And one thing that you will notice is that this these prepositions at the end will remain constant. These will remain constant. And we just keep repeating bandhan, bandhan, bandhan all, uh, all the way down here. So bandhanu, this would mean to the men. To the men. Then if you want to say, you know, with the men, then you say bandhan, bandhan, naal. Nar. So this would be with the men. Now, if you want to say, uh, you know, the, the, you know, so so we have the objective, we have the 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 the, the, the instrumental or the yeah, so the instrumental case. So how would you use this? Uh, you know, how did I? Uh, maybe you're asking yourself, how did I? Or 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 how uh, did we? Uh, or, or 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 maybe you're asking this to somebody. So how did you finish this? Well, you can say, well, I finished this with the men. Bandeanal would be with the men. Okay, so so Bandeanlei would be the next one because that's the dative case because we're talking about for the men. So we have Bandeanlei. So again, Bandean, Bandeanlei for the men. For the men. Let's keep going. So so that would be uh, you know our our uh, you know the, 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 the dative case here right over here and then for our ablative case so we would have a bandean ton bandean bandean ton this this would mean from this would be from the men and then if you want to learn uh, you know off the men so you know something that the men own then as we did right over here we we would use the so it would be bandeya 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 da so this would mean off off the men so in the um, in the next one here we 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 would have in the men as we have right over here in the man so now we will have in the men which would be you know bandean which as we did right over here we had which so we have bandean which And as I mentioned before, when we have bandean vich, this would mean in the men. And uh, once again, I'm not going to talk about the vocative case right over here because, uh, you know, that, that, that would be o oh, bandeo. And we're not going to, that's not really formal here that you, you, you hear that in speech. You don't really hear that in, uh, you know, in, 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 in formal Punjabi writing. So, uh, you know, I will let you, I'll, if, if I was you, I would pause the video and I would try to come up with sentences that, that fit each one of these examples. I hope that you, uh, you know, uh, you know, finished writing. Uh, uh, your responses. And now I, I, I'm about to continue on. We're going to talk about the feminine singular versions that fit in within these cases. So before I do that, let me actually box uh, this for you so that, you know, it's very clear to us what we have done. So all of this material is a plural version of, of uh, the masculine version. So let me get rid of the rectangle tool. So that we have this, 
we have so 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 all this material would be plural so before here we had all the singular masculine words that fit in into the different cases now we have all the plural masculine uh, versions of, of of all the cases let's do the feminine one so for our feminine word we had swarni so for swarni we we have the singular and the plural so which you know this this the singular would be swarni and 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 then the plural would be swarnia let me once again copy this let me try to copy this and let's go to a new slide to do the singular female version of of the material that we have just covered okay so so oh there's a there is a very faint line right over here which i'm gonna just delete there we go. So let's get started. As I said, our subject now will be Swarni. So let me write that down. Swarni, this by itself would be, you know, a lady. This this would mean lady. Now, if you want to keep going and so so we so this comes in the section of the nominative case now if we want to go into objective instrumental dative ablative possessive locative and uh, you know the we're not going to do vocative uh, however you know if you wanted to keep going then you would follow the structure so so for now what we're going to do is we're just going to keep repeating uh, um, um, this because one thing that I need you to understand is that swarni is one of those female words that the plural or the alternated version of this remains uh, the same so so here we saw that that right over here we saw that bandar convert even though it was singular it turned into a different word because that's the plural of you know, uh, you know, our singular uh, word here, here, we, we, we alternated this. However, for Swarni, for, for this specific word, we don't do that. We, we only alternate this, uh, you know, completely for the plural feminine version of this. So, so Swarni, uh, that's the plural of Swarni. However, we're not going to apply that within this section. This is only this one case. It could alternate depending uh, on, 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 on which case you're really studying. So, so if I want to say, you know, to the lady, then I would say Swarni no. So I would have Swarni, Swarni no. This would enter th this statement would be, uh, you know, uh, you know, our objective case. So this would mean to the lady. Then if I want to say, uh, you know, or, or if I want to enter the instrumental case, so, so I if if I want to say with the lady, then I would say Swarni nal. So we have Swarni, Swarni Nar, which which means with the lady. Then if if we want to keep going as we have been doing here, as you can see, we're just repeating these, and we're gonna keep doing that for this and the next one as well. So if you want to say for the lady, then you say Swarni, Swarni, lay. this this would read for the lady again i hope that you're understanding the structure by now because it's the same structure all we're really doing all you can really get wrong now is this first part right over here however the ending should be uh, the same in in order to get the front part uh, correct you need to read uh, there is no strict format that you know that you know this grammatical structure follows uh, from what i have seen so so the best thing that you can do as of this moment is to read more so that you can understand how these alternate and then normally this is how it will happen and then if we want to say ladies not not plural lady however if you want to say off the lady then we would do swarni da swarni da as i mentioned the you know the prepositions that we're using are remaining constant so this would be off the lady then if i want to keep going and if i want to say in the lady then we say swarni swarni which This would be in the lady, and uh, for 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 our vocative would be any swanie. Well, I'm not gonna write that down because that's not of any interest to us. However, I thought I would still mention it because Professor Santok Singh mentions it in his textbook. So we have our seven. This is nominative. Uh, this would be the nominative case, objective 
case, instrumental case, um, this would be the dative case, ablative case, and uh, you know the possessive case. I I I believe uh, you know I I I I skipped one somewhere in here because we're supposed to have seven. So we had nunar. So we have nunar leiton da. Uh, so uh, yeah. So I missed one right over here. Swarnito. Swarnito, which you can guess would be from the lady from the lady okay so from the lady is ablative this i remember so that's ablative and then this would be possessive this would be locative or locative and depends on how you pronounce it okay so th all of this would be how a female singular word let me put this in a box so how all of this material would be how you know a singular uh, ma uh you know f a feminine word would be uh, adhering to the different uh, case structures of punjabi grammar so for our last section here, so we have covered this as well. So this is the feminine, uh, singular, uh, different uh, cases right over here. So you can even make up sentences. Who is that? That is the lady, Swani. Uh, who are you giving this to? To the lady, Swani Nu. Uh, who were you with? I was with the lady, Swani Na. Uh, you know, why, um, who, who is doing this for the, for, for the lady? or so so for that question you you would use for the lady and we'll leave questions to 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 the end of this unit because questions have a little bit alternated structure so let's keep going who who owns this car it's you know this car is swarni da and uh, you know where is the ego in 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 the person well it's or or or, or in the woman it's Swarni vich in the lady, uh, or 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 if we want to say intelligence, where is the intelligence? It's Swarni vich, and if you want to say uh, who did the, who 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 gave this to you, or who was this given uh, from, then you say, well, it was given from the lady Swarni to. You can have so much fun creating basically infinitely many different uh, lines or uh, you know examples with with these because you should be capable now. All right, so uh, let let me just copy this right over here because I. There we go. So we can cover our last section of feminine plural uh, material so that we can move on and we can talk about something even more interesting in the next video. So now for plural, as I said, we have swarnia. So let me actually do this. So swarnia. This means ladies. Ladies. So if I want to say, so that's the nominative case. Now, if I want to make this into a objective case, then what I do is I put a nu, so swarni a nu, swarni a nu, nu. So what does this mean? This means to the ladies, to the ladies. If you want to say, or if you want to enter the instrumental case where you would say with the ladies, then you say swarni a nal. Suania, Suania, Nar. This would be with, with the ladies. Now, if you want to make this into a dative case, a dative case would be for the ladies. That would be Suania Le. As you can see, the prepositions are the same as the three three three, three illustrations uh, that we did before. So Swarni Ali would be for the ladies. Then now, if you want to say, uh, or or if you want to enter, uh, you know, the, your your ablative case, uh, that would be from the ladies Swarniya to. So we have Swarniya. We have Swarniya to. This would be of the ladies, or sorry, it would be from the ladies because we're uh, in my mind was uh, you know thinking about the possessive case. I uh, for for the ablative case, we would have from the ladies, and for there we go. So now we can talk about the possessive case. The possessive case would be something that the ladies own of the ladies. So that would be suarnia da suarnia. So this would be of the ladies. Now, if we do our last one, which is a you know locative case here, that would be you know inside uh, the ladies. So that would be Suania Vich. Suania Suania Vich. 
as I said, this would be in the ladies. This could be kindness, this could be intelligence, what, whatever it is that you want to say that's inside the ladies. Okay, so those are all the seven cases. I'm not going to talk about the vocative case here because it doesn't really apply. Um, so, so all of this material, let me put this in a box for you. So all of this material is uh, what we would, you know, say that the, you know, we took a word that was a plural word, which was a feminine word, and then we associated it or we transformed it so that it fits the different seven cases that I have listed here. Nominative, objective, instrumental, dative, ablative, possessive, and locative. We have talked about vocative, however, not in that much detail. As you can clearly see from the start here, here it was banda, and then it converted bandenu, bandenal, bandele, bandeton, bandeda, bandevich. Here it was the plural, as we see the plural male, so it was bande, bandenu, bandenal, bandenale, bandenton, bandenda, bandenvich. Here we had the female singular, so we had suani, which is nominative. Again, these are parallel. The, that's why we have them on the right hand side, right over here. So it was suani, suani anu, uh, sorry, suani, suani nu, suani nal, suani le, suani da, suani vich, suani ton. And for our last example, with the plural feminine structure that fit into the nominative, objective, instrumental, dative, ablative, possessive, locative cases, we had swarnia, swarnia nu, swarnia nar, swarnia le, swarnia ton, swarnia da, swarnia vich. The reason why I read this fast to you was to just give you a very, very, very quick review of what we have just done. And we have covered all, all territories here. So, so, so in the next video, I'll, we'll, you know, we'll learn a little, a, a little bit more on the transformation of words, which end with, you know, the kanna, as we saw right over here, banda, and we'll dive deeper into why did this happen and how we can even, uh, you know, how, how, you know, the, the word can transform uh, within the realm of the non nominative case. Maybe that means nothing to you. However, I really do hope that that you uh, try to make sentences with, with, with all of these examples. Uh, we should have 28 uh, di different, uh, you know, lines. So you can make one with Banda, one with Bandenu, and etc, etc. I do hope that you liked this video because this was a little bit easier than the cases uh, video because okay, in in the previous video we introduced uh, or, or or you were introduced to the idea of cases in this video you kind of saw how how words can adhere to the different prepositions set up by the grammatical structures set by the cases that we have listed on the right hand side. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. As I said, we will talk about the transformations. So I just really hope that this video was helpful and please practice these to really nail, nail these down. So I will see you in the next video.